A big island man recovering on Oahu tonight after being severely burned in a fire at a gas station in Captain Cook. The man was pumping gas at the time when obviously things went horribly wrong. Kimberly Speakman tonight with Morning Top Story. Kimberly. Bridget Howard, I heard from the woman who was there when it happened. She said a man in a car next to her was pumping gas. Then she suddenly saw a flash and flames were spreading from the nozzle to the gas pump. This is what was left of Patel's spare gas station after the fire. Witnesses say while the fire was happening, they could see the smoke coming from down the road and the flames reaching past the roof. The flames were pretty big. I mean, I was on the Malka side of the road and the gas station's on the Mackay side, and you could, like, passing it, you could feel the heat. Frank Young, who owns an auto shop, says while uncommon, a spark while pumping gas can happen, no matter what you drive. It doesn't matter because it's all a fire in, in more than 99% of the time is going to be due to static electricity. Service stations, the oil companies do everything they can to prevent it, but you're dealing with a very volatile product. He says that's why there are signs posted around gas stations, reminding people not to use their cell phones or to top off their gas. Both those things could cause a spark that could catch fire. Well, I mean, they're holding the cell phone or they're holding the nozzle away from the neck on top of the fact that they're dragging their feet. You get that set static electricity, then you get a spark that jumps between the nozzle and the metal. What he recommends? Make sure that the nozzle is touching the neck. You want to touch the neck, and if it's touching the neck, then you're not going to get the static electricity. And other experts also recommend touching your car to discharge any body static you may have before pumping gas. You can find other tips on our website, khon2.com. Back to you.